happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a different type of video for you all as you can see i am not in my regular setup this is kind of like a vlog style video but y'all i am in another country okay i am in nigeria lagos nigeria to be exact so yeah i've been here for about a week now and um i intentionally did not do my nails because i want to experience what it's like to get my nails done in nigeria so that's what I'll be showing you all today. Um, I'm gonna try to film me going to the place. I actually found a location that's right up the street from the estate that we're staying in. And um, yeah, I, I'm gonna leave their Instagram link down below because I think that they had a lot of beautiful designs. I'm gonna do something that's nice, sweet, and simple. Y'all know yellow my favorite color, so I'm gonna do like a, a ombre yellow look or whatnot. Yeah, I, I'm also too gonna leave a picture of the nails that I'm gonna get done. So that's gonna be what I decide to do. Y'all also got my hair braided while I was here. What do you think? What do you think, huh? Hmm? Yeah. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. These are some knotless braids, okay? So anywho, back to my nails. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to me um, walking to the place because it's actually right up the street, like I said. And um, yeah, I reached out to them. They said that they would let me film while I'm there. So I don't know how exactly I'm gonna film. I do have a tripod, but I don't think I'm gonna bring that. So I'm gonna just do the best that I can with angles and things like that. But y'all gonna see me get my nails done in another country, okay? Let go. And we're off. And I got some. Ross. Show up. Let's be. Let's be mine. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, you better show up. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, you're back here. This is the estate that we're staying in. Just waiting for the driver to come. We were gonna walk, but since my hubby has to go out anyway, we decided to just go ahead and drive me. But it's like gonna be like a two second drive. It's right up the street. So yeah, let's see how it goes. You get driving, right? No, I don't know. I don't know where he's back. Okay. 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 I know. I can hear her all the way over here, though. That's crazy. Miss Yaya. My little one is at home with Grandma. And she is not feeling it, okay? Okay. Let me let Hubby do his thing before he hit me. Babe, wait, babe. He said, wait. You gonna have him move his car? No, you are going to move it. Uh, they're about to move that car. Okay, all right, y'all. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I guess we're getting ready to go. So let me get into the vehicle. All right, y'all. You ready to get these loves done, okay? Lego. Hey, hey. Hey, Pepsi will put Pepsi will have to put some money down, maybe for production. Yeah, yeah. And it won't be paid for performance. Yeah. Yes. 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 Anyway you look at it, the way it is yes. Alright. You have to look forward to yes. coming with. 
Yeah. I could have gotten the driver's seat then. <laughs> so you guys, this is where I'm going to get my nails done. Right here. It's called QA Beauty Empire. This is just a little glimpse. The busyness that's happening out here. For the underdog. Are they going to be under the after the beating? After beating, yeah. I'm yeah. my homes. I, I, Traffic is crazy, though. Beats the, uh, my homes at home. <laughs> 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 and I did all set. My homes at home. They deserve to win yeah, the ride. Yeah, they deserve to win the Super Bowl. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm sentimental towards Cincinnati, but I think it, it makes for a great game. Either way, a new champion is going to become a new super, a new, yeah, yeah, a new quarterback. Yeah. I mean, he's going to take on the trophy. Oh, it's good job for them. I'm here. Yeah. I would need a mask. No. You don't have one. I do. Yeah, this is it. Hello. This one is the mask. Yeah, I was texting someone about getting a manicure. Oh, it's acrylic ombre. Let me show you. I think some, you were reaching out somebody that Yeah, I was already talking to somebody. The what's up? Hello, good afternoon. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I think she's, she was trying to get her nails on and do her like... Yeah, I was texting somebody. I don't know who though. Okay, okay. Uh, what she said? Make sure you're doing Oh, did you, oh, I had told her about you getting the pedicure. Do you still want it? You want it, right? Okay, yeah, just me. I'm not coming back for you. Okay. Come sit here, right? Okay. All right, babe. Thank you. All right, I'll see you. Hello. Are you okay if I record? Is that okay? Okay. Okay, happy people. So I apologize for all the shakiness uh, leading up to this part, but I was a little bit nervous about recording when I was walking into the salon. But I just wanted to give you all an overview of how beautiful this place was I absolutely love that that yellow and that green with those gold bowls it just it felt very luxurious in here so yeah this is just an overview of how everything looked really beautiful salon really beautiful place so here like I said I was nervous about recording so I wasn't really sure how to um, get the right angles um, you will see here shortly that I just go ahead and pick up the camera so that you all can actually see what's going on so I overcame my fears there. But yeah, here you see her. She's actually just um, filing my natural nail, um, just kind of roughening up the surface um, to prepare it for the nail application. Uh, so I'll let you all watch her do the prep. Um, next here, okay, so this is where, this is the part where I was a little confused. So they actually applied full cover tips with super glue onto my nails. Right, so normally with an acrylic application, I'm used to seeing people just apply regular tips and then the acrylic over the natural nail bed and the tips. So when she applied it with the super glue, I was a little bit taken back, but I was like, okay, let me sit back. You know, she's the professional and let me just let her do her thing. So here you'll see her just applying the rest of the tips here. I'm looking a little nervous as you see my little handshake there, but yeah, she goes ahead and applies the index finger and um, yeah, I'll let y'all kind of watch her do that.
Okay, so after she applies the full cover tips with the super glue, she goes in and she starts to file and shape um, the nails. And here, I'm trying not to be too obvious, but there's an air bubble in my thumbnail. You see here, I tried to zoom in a little bit. Um, that had me really, really concerned um, while she was applying my nails. There were a few other nails that maybe weren't applied the best, but that thumbnail really had me concerned because, yeah, y'all, like... I'm just saying there was a big air bubble so you all will see kind of what happened with my experience of that in the very end. I decided to keep this part in in real time. This is her applying the actual acrylic to the nail. Um, and so here, I'm noticing that um, she put the acrylic kind of far back on the nail bed. So, well, just far back on the nail in general. It kind of looked like, um, like almost the full nail was covered in yellow. So I was confused about how the ombre was going to work. But again, you know, I was trying to sit back and let her do her job. I was trying to trust that process because, you know, just because something starts off looking a certain way when you're doing your nails doesn't mean the end result isn't going to be bomb. So I was like, let me sit back, let her do her thing. And um, yeah, so I will let y'all watch her finish applying her acrylic. Um, I did feel like though, she wasted a lot of product. Um, and it wasn't and it wasn't maybe the smoothest application. But yeah, I'm going to sit back, let you all watch her do her thing. And I'll be back shortly. So as someone who's new to applying acrylic uh, such as myself, I'm definitely no expert by any means. I'm very much so a beginner when it comes to acrylic application. I still have my training wheels on. So it was interesting just to kind of sit back and to kind of observe how she applies her application. Um, as you all saw, when she set the bead down, she kind of dragged it a little bit um, at the bottom, kind of creating a tail which was different than how I've seen like a lot of people um, apply acrylic. A lot of times they'll pick up the bead, set it down and push the, like take the brush right off of the bead. Um, and she kind of dragged it a little bit, um, at least on the first bead anyway. So I thought that was interesting just to kind of like sit back and watch her process with applying acrylic. Um, I am still trying to learn it. So um, any resource or any um, opportunity I have to kind of observe somebody applying acrylic, I definitely uh, use it as an opportunity to help sharpen my skill. Um, yeah, I don't know that her acrylic application is probably a, a method of application that I would use, but it was still kind of cool to just kind of like sit back and observe her process. So after she finished shaping the nails and before she started the acrylic application, I told her I had some concerns with the shaping of the nails. I told her that I wanted coffin shaped nails and they were looking more like a square to me. So I did ask her about that and I did tell her about that because I really wanted to enjoy my set while I was on vacation. And I pretty much asked her, I was like, so um, are you doing coffin? Sh no, I asked her what? I asked her what shape is are these nails and she said they're coffin shaped and then I kind of looked at my nails and I looked at her and I looked confused and I told her I was like well these look like square shaped nails to me and she was like no they're coffin and I was like okay and at first I would just kind of kind of bite my tongue and just kind of like just let her do whatever because yeah I like I said I don't I've not had too many salon experiences and I don't like to be a difficult person so I was just going to kind of bite my tongue and not say anything but I was just like I mean, I'm paying for this service, so I want to get what I'm paying for. And so um, I think at some point she sees me looking at my nails, like pretty much the whole time she's doing my set. Any break I get, I'm just like kind of looking and I'm just like, ah, ah. and she finally asked me, you know, does everything look fine? And I told her, I was just like, you know, these look like square nails to me. They, they don't, and I really want a coffin. 
and she said okay and so she attempted to go in and try to fix them um, so at the end they kind of ended up looking like a tapered square still not the coffin shape that I wanted but better than the square because I actually really want a coffin for the set but yeah here I left in a little bit of the ASMR of her filing my nails for your listening pleasure <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below, do you think these are coffin or square shaped nails? I'd love to hear your thoughts on what shape you think it is down in the comments below. Okay, so here you can see she is applying the top coat to all of my nails and just using like a regular cotton round or cotton ball to clean up um, any spillage that may have happened on my sidewalls and cuticle area. Um, there was a lot of lint flying around, so um, that did end up getting cured on some of my nails, but overall, I actually like that top coat that she used. I was trying to see if I could get a good glimpse of what brand it was, cause it actually was pretty good. But um, yeah, she's just putting the finishing touches on my nail set. And yeah, that's her wiping the lint away right there. But she's just putting the finished touches on my nail set and I'll give you all the reveal shot here shortly. Yes, okay, so she turned out looking pretty good. As you all see in the upper left hand corner, that is what I was expecting. This is what I got. I mean, not horrible, but also not what I ordered, you know, but overall, a cute set. That's good. Thank you. Okay, you understand you remember. Yeah, yeah. Is it die guy? Everyone said D A D A. That's good though. Okay, happy people. So I am back home and um, yeah, so the experience at the nail salon was, it was okay, right? Um, I really like the atmosphere there. I think that um, the lady who did my nails was really nice and sweet, um, but I could tell that she was kind of new. So yeah, she did an okay job. So this is how the set turned out. Um, you know, I think that the ombre, she took it back to the cuticle area a little bit too far. Oh, I need to oil my cuticles too, y'all. So, I mean, it was it was okay, right? Like, she didn't do bad, but it wasn't like the best I've ever had. I mean, honestly, I could probably recreate it better myself, but honestly, not bad though. Um, Let me see, how much? So, it ended up being 6,500 Naira which I think equals around $13 US. And um, I left a tip as well. So I think all together it cost me maybe like 20 bucks to get this done, so not bad. Um, as you all saw in the video with the application though, she applied full cover tips with super glue. So that kind of lets me know that this set probably won't last that long. I wanna try to update you all um, to show you how long this set might actually last. Um, but I mean, it's full cover tips applied with super glue with acrylic on top. Um, so I don't foresee it lasting that long, but we'll see. Um, and I did have an opportunity to speak with the lady afterwards and she did tell me that she's new and she's only been doing it for a few months. So, you know, I'm happy I was able to, I guess, let her get some practice in. But, um, like I said, I wasn't like overly like wild by it, but it was a cool experience nonetheless. You all saw in the video, the atmosphere of the place was really nice. Overall, the staff was very friendly. Um, so yeah, it was a cool little experience. You know, get my nails done in Nigeria, okay? Um, and this is actually, believe it or not, this is actually only the second time I have ever went to a salon and got my nails done, you guys. Normally, I just do my nails myself, as you all can see on my channel. 
don't do nail videos so yeah I normally just do it myself um, mainly because I'm I'm kind of a perfectionist right like I'm type A I like stuff done a very very certain way um, and so any little tiny thing that's a little bit off um, it throws me a little bit and so there's little things like as far as like shaping is concerned like you see how that nail is kind of flat this one looks like it's decent I don't know shaping is a little off with these and um, also like this side over here I don't know if you can all even see this or not it didn't like cure all the way so it's not like shiny all the way through um but again like I said she was new there's like lint on it but again she was new so you know I guess she got a little bit of practice in on me which is completely fine so yeah I hope y'all enjoy this video like I said something a little different I am going to try my best to come back with um an update I am here in Nigeria for I am here in Lagos Nigeria for another week and a half so hopefully I'm, I'm hoping these nails will at least last until the end of my trip hopefully longer um because on their Instagram page I actually saw that people's nails were lasting up to six five weeks six weeks so yeah and actually I'm not the only person that she um applied the full cover tips to actually all the nail techs there were applying full cover tips with super glue so that's just different for me I guess I was I was expecting just a tip applied on and then the acrylic over the natural nail but yeah we'll see how these hold up you know what I'm saying there was there was some air bubbles okay with the full cover tips as well so uh, like I said we'll see I'll come back I'll update you guys but yeah not bad this is great for like vacay so I'm not mad at it oh and then also to you guys I'm super excited about this I was able to support another small business here Let's see if I can pull this out really quick yeah okay so I was able to support another small business here. I actually placed an order. There's a lady I've been following on Instagram forever. She um, does press-on nails. So I'm gonna just show you all a sneak peek. I got six pairs of press-on nails from her. And you all know that I'm doing the press-on nails uh, series on my channel, you know, where I apply press-ons with different application methods. And so yeah, let me show you all one of the sets that I got. I got six sets in total and see this is just a sneak peek but this is one of the sets that I got from her isn't these so cute with the bling okay with the bling actually let me just show you this one too this is another set that I got I thought was super cute so I tried to get like a variety let me just show you three I'll show you three I'll show you half of them but I'm gonna do a dedicated video on these two um, and then this is another one so these are some short square square nails so I tried to do a variety of different shapes and lengths from her so that I can just test out the different types but um, yeah I am gonna leave all the information from the places that I visited and supported in this in this video down in the description box so that if you all happen to ever be in Lagos, Nigeria, y'all can check them out. Or if there's any of my viewers that are from here and are looking for a nail salon and or looking for someone to buy press-ons from, you can go and check them out. So I'll leave that down in the description. Again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. We're just try something a little new, a little different. I am enjoying my trip. Um, it's actually a family trip, having a really good time. I'm here with my husband and my daughter and just it's awesome um and just fyi uh, my husband is nigerian and so yeah we are here visiting um my daughter she had an opportunity to meet her grandma for the first time and things like that so yeah i'm hoping to make a whole separate vlog though kind of showing you all everything that we did on the trip um so yeah you all should see that if it's not already up coming soon so stay tuned to the channel for that but yeah sorry i'm a little long-winded here but yeah i hope you all <laughs> okay my battery went dead so I'm super long-winded, okay? So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, Thursdays in particular, I premiere my videos where you all can chat live with me and watch me do my nails. And y'all who come every Thursday, y'all know we be having a party in the comments and in the chat. So yeah, definitely um, check it out on Thursdays, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you'd like to chat live with me and my nail sisters, okay? Well yeah, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below, and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye. Okay, happy people. I am back with a quick update on how these nails are holding up. Um, they seem to be doing just fine. Um, 
yeah this is what they look like it's been exactly one week since i have gotten them done um you see there's just slight new growth on a few of them they're growing out pretty nicely i'm actually really shocked that they have lasted this long because like i said they applied the full cover tips with super glue so whatever super glue they use must have been really good um yeah as i've been wearing them longer i think i'm getting kind of ready to take them off i guess um this is what the other hand is looking like um yeah but i'm they held up none of them have popped off none of them are loose at the cuticle or anything like that oops none of them are loose at the cuticle or anything like that so yeah they they held up pretty good um like i said the longer i have them on the more i'm just like looking at the shaping and just not that happy with them but you know they're here and we gonna we gonna make it do what it do um we are here for another week um well technically it's monday and we leave this saturday so what's that like another four or five days so yeah y'all um they they lasted they lasted and i will try to come back with an update to let you all know if they last the full two weeks or actually if they just last until i get home so yeah i hope you all enjoyed the update and i will talk to you all soon bye okay happy people i am back with my final update regarding um my nail set that i got done while i was traveling in nigeria um, I am back home safe and sound and I just finished removing my nails and I'm not gonna lie they're not in great shape so when I was removing this thumb I realized that I actually have a greenie this is my first time ever having any type of issues like this when removing a set and so yeah I I guess I have a nail fungus or a green nail, but can you all see the discoloration on my thumb? Like right around here, there's green and around here is green. So a little bit disappointed in that. Um, so this is the nail that came off. Like I mentioned in my video, when they applied it at the shop, which I was like shocked about, um, you can actually see that um, the nail, like, well, they actually applied it with they applied full cover tips with super glue and then applied the acrylic on top of that. So when she did my thumbnail, there was a huge air bubble. And I don't know if you can see the inside of this tip. There's like little spaces right here where you see the glue didn't make full contact with my nail. That's the exact space that has the greeny or I don't know what the technical term is um, for this. I'm assuming it's like a nail fungus, but because that air bubble was there, I'm assuming at some point there was slight lifting at the cuticle, water must have got in there, and probably just sat on my nail for an extended period. So I actually kept these nails on for a little over two weeks. Um, uh, two of them popped off at one point. I think these two popped, yeah, these two popped off on this hand. And so I just had these three fingers on and on this hand over here, I think just my middle finger popped off and all the rest of the nails were still on. But um, as you can see, just on the surface of my nail in general, there's like a lot of ridges. And the other sad thing that happened to my nail is that I actually cracked my nail bed. Um, so this white mark right here, um, there's actually an, an actual crack on my nail bed. And it was kind of interesting too because when this nail was still on, I did feel a little bit of pain. There was lifting at the cuticle and I just kind of was slightly pulling on it. Not pulling on it, but kind of pressing forward to see if the, um, the press on would pop off and I cracked my nail bed in the process of that. So yeah, you guys, this just shows how important it is to have um, proper uh, nail prep and um, to make sure you are if you're uh, applying any type of full cover tips and things like that, it is so important not to have any air bubbles. And if there are air bubbles, make sure they're like fully encapsulated in whatever it is you're using. So if there was the super glue all around the edges and the air bubble, I probably would have felt more confident, confident about that set. But I knew because there were so many, um, just it, the, the tip wasn't applied well, especially to my thumbs. I'll just say that much. Um, so yeah and then in general you just see like on my nails there's just like a lot of ridges it just that set was really tough on my nails um so yeah that's a lesson learned for me so in general i have only ever gotten my nails done um that would actually be my third time so two times prior to this once i got my nails done um for my wedding day and it was just a basic gel polish set it only lasted like a week and then i peeled it off 
and then um, the second time I got a pedicure done at a nail salon and that experience was not great because they actually clipped, they like cut my skin and so my foot was bleeding. And so literally after those two experiences, I really just took it upon myself to just do my own nails. And um, yeah, this is just kind of further validates why I like to do my nails myself. I just know how to properly take care of them. Um, you can even see here on this, on my middle finger, there's like a white mark. They're just, yeah, those nails were just really tough on on my fingernails yeah this is what they look like again it wasn't really my favorite you know uh, application um, but I don't want to be like too harsh with this review because um, um, I actually talked to the lady after she did my set and she informed me that this was only she only had been doing nails for a couple of months and so um, that kind of explains why there was why I had so many questions while she was doing the application process but um, all in all though, you know, she tried and um, I think that, um, I don't know, moving forward I probably just stick with doing my own nails. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It was very different for me. I have never got my nails done in a foreign country before. Um, so yeah, I gave it a shot. Um, I took one for the team on this one y'all because now my nails are in like really bad shape. My natural nails anyway. So I'm trying to figure out um, how to repair them. Um, by the time this video goes up, I was going to ask for you all suggestions, but by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be grown out by then. But yeah, I think the only way to do it is to let it grow out. Um, so yeah, I'll be focusing on letting this nail grow out. Again, that's the one with the cracked nail bed. Yeah, so sad. Yeah, that nail bed is actually cracked. Yeah. And then this one, I will have to let grow out with that greenie. Like what? Anywho, um, all of that to say, um, proper nail prep is important and um, proper nail removal is important. So take this as a hard lesson for me. And um, yeah, y'all, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm still testing out a lot of different products. So I actually wanna protect my natural nails and just pretty much let the whole nail bed for these nails grow out right now. Cause my natural nails are very strong. So I just want my whole nail bed to just grow out right now. So I'm thinking about trying out the Young Nails Manicure Fiber Gel. Um, I know that's supposed to be really good for natural nails. So likely I'll do a thin overlay of that all over my natural nails and then apply top coat and then um, apply different sets on top of that just to give my natural nails a little break and allow them to properly heal. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I premiere a video live and chat with you all. So um, yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.